I'm going to give you a simple series of questions for you to ask at the end of any presentation. You do a PBR, ask these questions. You do a Zoom call, ask these questions. You show a video, ask these questions. Sample your product, ask these questions. Three-way call, ask these questions. Sit down with somebody for coffee when you're done, ask these questions. Question number one, what did you like best based upon what I just showed you? What did you like best? Question number one, one of the most powerful questions. I've, I've tried them all over 30 years. I've tried, what do you think? Not to good results. The best question I've ever come up with works in every country around the world is what did you like best? This forces a person to go into their mind and think of something good. Question number two. On a scale of one to 10, based upon what I've just shared with you, where are you? One being you have zero interest and 10 being you're ready to get started right this second. Where are you? Guess what you're going to get a lot of? Fives, sixes. If they say seven, they're joining. People won't say ten because they don't want to seem like a cheap date. <laughs> Here's a tip for you. Anything over a one is good. <laughs> Seriously. If they say two, I'm a two. Well, we told them one is they have zero interest. Two must mean there's something there, but they're skeptical. Might take more time. You're going to have this conversation over the long term with them anyway. Just understand that this one might take a little bit more time. Fantastic. Scale of one to ten, where are you? Just get a temperature reading. Question number three deals with how much money would be worth their time? How much money would be worth their time? Now, here's how I ask the question, and this is refined over many, many years. What's your name, sir? Michael. Hi, Michael. How you doing? Pleasure. So if I talk to Michael and I say, hey, what'd you like best? I just showed you a video. What'd you like best? Make something up. I love the concept of getting paid every month. You like the concept of getting paid every month. Fantastic. A scale of one to 10, where are you? One, zero interest, 10, you're ready to get started right this second. A six, fabulous. So let me ask you another question. Hypothetically, if you you got started in this business part-time, how much would you need to earn per month in order to make this worth your time? $1,000 a month. $1,000. If you're doing this part-time, how much would you need to earn per month in order to make this worth your time? The, the, the words worth your time are really, really critical. Hypothetically is also very helpful. Off the record, just between you and me, let's just, you know, spitball this. How much would you need to earn per month in order to make this worth your time? He says a thousand a month. Do I care what he says? All I care is that he gives me a number. He says, ah, I don't know. Ah, just play with me. How much? Eh, I'm not so sure. Just give me a number. Pick one. Okay, fine. $500, $1,000, whatever the number is. Question number four. It just, this will flow naturally as you practice it a little bit. How many hours a week, realistically, could you commit to developing that $1,000 monthly income? Five to 10 hours a week. week. You're going to get a lot of those. How many months, question number five, how many months would you be willing to work those five, 10 hours a week while you're developing a thousand monthly income? Six months. Question number six is just if I would you. If I could show you, Mike, Mike? Michael J. Michael J. If I could show you, Michael, how to develop a thousand dollar monthly income working five to 10 hours a week over the course of the next six months, would you be ready to get started? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know how hard it is for him to say no to that? Every single one of those answers was what he wanted. Every one. All I did was ask the questions. 